aperture mode on your camera is great for a couple of things. It's the mode that you use when you want to control whether the background in your photo is blurry or in focus. It's also a great mode to use when you're in dim light. But before I explain how to use your aperture for these creative effects, I want to explain what an aperture is so that you have a basic idea of what you're controlling when you start using these dials on your camera. So first of all, an aperture is simply an opening and you encounter openings all the time. There are openings on pop bottles. Uh, there are openings on your coffee mug. There are openings everywhere, but an aperture on your camera is an adjustable opening and you're familiar with adjustable openings. Uh, for example, your kitchen sink, you know, that you can open your kitchen sink just a little wee bit and get just a little trickle of water coming out. You can also open your sink full blast and get a large flow of water coming out. So you may have noticed that your camera lens is shaped kind of like a tunnel or a cylinder basically. And there is an opening there, and this is what your camera looks through to see the scene to take the picture. There are glass elements there that help things to be in focus or out of focus, but the important part for aperture is to consider your lens has an opening and you can control the size of this opening in aperture mode. So for example, uh, and you'll notice that the opening is measured um, in f-stops. So um, you can open your aperture a whole lot or as in this end, or you can begin to close your aperture. The lower the number, such as f2.8 or f4 or f5.6, that indicates that your aperture is more open. And the higher numbers, such as f8, f11, f16, f32, um, these numbers indicate that you have closed your aperture a lot. Now, in the next lessons, I will explain why you would want to open your aperture and why you would want to close your aperture for creative effect. What you should do is go and find the dial on your camera and you are going to want to switch the dial to A or uh, AV if you're using a Canon and then this will allow you to control your aperture. Uh, if you don't already know how to control your aperture then you'll want to Google it. Google whatever camera you're using plus uh, a phrase like how to control my aperture and you should find a tutorial that shows you exactly how to do it. Now in the next lessons, I'm going to show you how to use it for creative effect.